In this segment, I will discuss the new chord E7. In the key of A, there are three major chords, A, D, and E7. We've already covered A and D, and so here's our E7. Starting from the A chord, I'm going to place the, a fi the fingers down for the A chord, and to make the E7 chord, I'm merely going to release the third finger, release the third finger, move the second finger up to the five string, and the first finger is going to slide to the first fret. Can you see how that's on the first fret now instead of on the second fret? So it's a two finger chord getting in at a different angle. You see the third string and the fifth string covered for E7. And there is E7. That is a lot of moving because each finger does something new. We have lift, move, slide. We want to try to work that so we can do that all at once so it's kind of like in one motion. Lift, move, slide. All at once like that. Okay? So there is that. And then to, re to um, recover the A chord, I'm just going to do that in reverse order. Move the middle finger down and slide the index. Replace the third finger. And then I have A. Going to E7. And A. Notice that the E7 chord is strummed with all six strings as well. Make sure you get the sixth string in there. 5 string and 6 string. Let's try that E7 from the D. So if I'm going from a D chord here and I need to go to the E7, once again I'm going to slide my index finger without lifting it and I'm going to think about my middle finger jumping all the way up to the 5 string and here we go. Slide and put down. So keeping that finger on and sliding it is the key to making this work quickly for you. There you have your chords in the key of A, D, and E7. Keep practicing.